Hey, what's up, guys? Wicked Android HD here, and I got a request from one of my viewers to make a video on how to overclock your Galaxy S4. <clears throat> so this is a universal how to overclock your Galaxy S4. It doesn't matter if you're running AOSP or TouchWiz or Google Edition ROM. Uh, the main key is to download the KT kernel that uh, is uh, made for the ROM uh, that uh, you're running. For example, I have here Omega ROM, so I need the KT kernel for a TouchWiz ROM, and I'm gonna be uploading all the versions for latest KT kernel if you're running uh, AOSP or Google Edition or t a TouchWiz ROM. So, by installing KT kernel, you will notice that uh, you'll have an extra app in your drawer, and uh, this is the app, sorry. I opened the wrong app. It, this is the app. It's called KT K Tweaker, and it has the benefits of the latest version, version 4.6. And uh, how to overclock your device? Very simple. Uh, go to main settings, CPU settings, and as you may see here, it says enable overclock steps. Enable them, and as you may see, uh, you can go up from 1.9 gigahertz up to 2.322 megahertz and uh, this is not very stable not even 2 1 is very stable I would recommend 1 almost 2 2 works works very very good if you want a very snappy interface you should go for minimum at uh, 486 megahertz uh, the CPU governor which I use which I'm using is a cartoon servative cartoon servative EQ I have also I got uh, three profiles that I use the most uh, and uh, believe me they are the best profiles you will ever find for the K-Tweaker as you may see they are called as you may know from my other videos from my own custom ROM that I made it's called BHP Balance, BHP Performance and BHP Super Bear Receiver I, I'm currently using BHP Balance and uh, as you may see my phone uh, is uh, let me focus is uh, behaving very fast I have a, a eye wallpaper which you change when you press uh, uh, with the th three fingers let me, let, uh, let's browse for, for in some apps let's browse some apps for example Instagram as you may see very very smooth uh, yeah no problem at all multitasking works very well uh, battery is also pretty pretty good so if you want to overclock your device, I wouldn't recommend go going further than uh, 198 as I have here. The GPU settings also allows you to overclock your device up to 627 megahertz, but this is not even usable. You may have to tweak your under voltage uh, or alt voltage very, 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 very much in order to get this uh, type of high frequencies but uh, I would recommend maximum a maximum of uh, uh, 545 MHz it works good even a 504 works good but uh, I will stick to to 450 because because uh, it gives me a lot of battery and uh, yeah that's probably most of uh, what I what I had to tell you guys input output scheduler doesn't uh, make a difference a big difference actually but uh, yeah so I'm gonna be uploading these three profiles in order for you to test them and uh, yes I told you this is a universal kernel for ASP TouchWiz and uh, or Google Edition ROM so it will work on every single ROM you will your test. So that was uh, for this tutorial, guys. I hope you like it. If you did, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And the week Android uh, wishes you a very good and healthy weekend. Bye bye.